The 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, United Kingdom, is like no other for Nigeria in many respects. First, it was a sporting event in which female athletes shone like million stars, having garnered 12 gold medals in the men's and to men's zero. Also, it was a record-breaking event for athletes like Toby Yamushan, who created games record of 12.30 seconds in the women's 100-meter hurdles. It's a broomer with a record of 7.00 meters in the long jump event and the female 4 by 100 meter relay team that won the country's first ever gold in the event at the competition with an African record of 42.10 seconds. Above all, it is Nigeria's best outing ever at the Commonwealth Games in the 72 years with 12 gold, 9 silver, and 14 bronze medals, giving a total haul of 35 medals. Julie, in the midst of bad news that, you know, when you think about Nigeria, you think about everything going bad and everything, but this is, you know, we have a reason to cheer up. Yes. It's not, there's lights at the end of yes. our tunnel. Uh, we have every reason to be happy as a country because the athletes have done us proud. Uh, what has happened with the women has happened before to the men. When the men completely dominated, won all the gold medals, and the women didn't win any gold. Mm -hmm. So it's like um, history somehow repeating itself, a kind of role reversal. Mm -hmm. So uh, people shouldn't uh, castigate our men. This thing has happened before, and the women didn't win any gold, and the men were the ones who won for at the same Commonwealth Games. So, but by and large, we've seen evidence of good management of our athletes. We, we are winning events that we had never won before. We had never won the 4 by 100 meters women at the Olympics, I mean, at the um, Come Commonwealth Games. But look at this young team, probably the youngest team of um, sprint relay runners that we ever put together. Mm. Look at what they've done. At the Olympics, they came forth, but they erased the 30 year old record. African record held by Mary Onyali, uh, uh, Beatrice uh, Utondo and Co. Now, they've, um, they've erased that same record that they created. Mm. In under two weeks, they've re erased it mm. and set a new one. I am really, really impressed with um, our athletes, mm. it's a broom, uh, Toby Amotion. Mm. I think so, the second leg, hopefully, did very well before giving it to Chukuma, yeah. who along the bend created a massive gap mm. that they could not cover. By the time the ankle leg, who is Nigeria's fastest mm. woman, um, Wokocha, mm. by the time she got the baton, the race was already as good as one. Mm. So, it's a very good time to be in Nigeria. You can just see in Africa, you can just see where we're standing. We are the best in Africa and, in athletics. And, uh, and not I just mean, not winning, just in athletics, not yeah. just winning the gold medal, but in athletics, that gold medal, most of them were record shattery. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I want to commend the girls for making us proud. Uh, it's one of our lowest moments with the inflation and everything, and they lifted our spirit. So for that, uh, I give them kudos. But we must also remember that when, when we have a young team. The best thing is to make sure that they go for higher level. The Olympics, now we have a world champion, we have Commonwealth champions, mm. and we need to have Olympic champion. That is a lot too. Because if we can get all the three with the same set of girls, yes. it would be the very best the history can We have never produced a world champion. Mm. This year, we produced a world champion in mm. uh, Amusion. Hopefully, we'll see a Sebrume you know, become, an Olympic become champion. a world champion as well. Reason you know, to chair. Because that is the, the peak of it. So, it's, with good management, no, it, no. the stars have always been here. The talents have always been here. You never like but they that. need to be properly managed. Okay. And we are seeing the, the result of proper management of our athletes. The other day, we were speaking with Mary Onyali. 
I was really impressed. It's such, they're working on them. They're working on yes, them. They're working on them, and we can see. We are the, seeing the result. The results. We are seeing the work. result. You know, mm. she's not uh, pained that her record was broken. Mm. Mm. She's happy. Okay, DJ, let's join uh, joining us live from our Abuja studio for more discussion. Is the Minister of Youth and Sports Sunday Diary? Congratulations, Honourable Minister SD. Congratulations. Congratulations, Bonanza. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sure Nigerians and don't know the, you know you are Bonanza. All of us. <laughs> Every Nigerian. That oh yes, we might not have good news when it comes to football. <laughs> we might have missed the World Cup, but this Commonwealth game. Honorable Minister, what did you do differently? What is what is the the, the trick here? Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, so much the, hangout the Hangout crew, for having me. And I, I think that uh, the focus really should be on our athletes because they have persevered. Uh, before I became minister, some of them had started on that career. But in the last three years, we have seen them really grow and develop. They have uh, invested a lot of hours, a lot of sweat, working, working on various programs, both our national programs to our federations, through the collegiate system, since most of them are in the NCAA, circuit. And then we've seen them compete in several international competitions and championships. So I think, first, the, the athletes made this happen. And I want to give all the credit to them. The, what we have done at the level of the ministry and the sports at the federations that we have is to keep, is to keep faith with the plans we have for them. We have 38 federations, but we decided we are going to go with nine of our federations where we have competitive advantage as a country. We did some benchmarking, we did some scientific review, and we pulled out the card of smart sports. So wherever we find that Nigeria is not in the ranking between one and 50, we knew it was going to be a long shot in the dark. Countries now go to competition where they know they can get the medal, not just to compete. So that's why We've seen our athletes who have, who have honed their skills over time, went out there and carried out a ruthless execution of their skills along other, other uh, uh, good ones across the world. OK. Now. The crisis over athletes' allowance uh, been, uh, being in international competition, but the 2022 Commonwealth Games was different. How did this happen? I, w I want to give uh, that credit I want okay. to give that okay. credit uh, uh -huh to pre President Muhammadu Buhari. Okay. And I, I will explain briefly. When we go for such international competitions, we need presidential intervention fund. Because our budgets are not able to contain the huge amount of money needed. Normally, there is a gap between approval and cash backing. But in this instance, we've had a president who has been able to bridge that gap. So the early release and timely release of our fund, almost 90% of what was needed, played a key role. The prioritization of, of what we needed to do as a ministry played another key role. We have about seven or nine international competitions this year. We knew our budget cannot cover all of them. So we prioritized and chose four of them. For instance, we chose Oregon 
Eugene, Oregon, World Championship. That was what, where we produced the first world champion. That's uh, Toby Amusa, who is now referred to as the rocket, Toby Rocket, Toby Express. Mm -hmm. Mm. But also, we knew Commonwealth was another big ticket. So we made sure that we conserved enough funds. But we also decided our athletes, I had been an advocate of athletes' welfare. And I've received full support from Mr. President. Every request for supporting our athletes have been approved by Mr. President. So we sat down and said, in terms of how to spend this money, athletes' allowances, bonuses, and award money must take priority and must happen within 48 hours of the start of the games. Mm. So before most of them even competed, they were already collecting their allowances. We increased certain allowances. We introduced new bonuses. But we also had an engagement. We carried them along. So I, I think that made a difference. Where we had a few challenges, we were able to engage with them on time because we had an open book. And uh, I think the, the Federation also, AFN, Athletics Federation of Nigeria, did a lot also working with the athletes. I give a lot of credit to them. I give a lot of credit to the athletes, to the coaches, the technical crew. And I think from lessons learned from the past, we were able to bring it all together. We had a check box, make sure we checked all the boxes in a timely fashion. Three months before the Commonwealth, we had, we had a total of 21 meetings. Many records at the games. What does this portend for sports in the country? Going forward. You know, I, I think we need to talk about those records. Mm. Because the, the, Let's go. Okay. Go ahead. Talk about that. What, what does uh, the fact that we broke um, some records and we did very well, our best performance ever, what does this portend for us in our country going forward? Well, I, th I think it, 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 signposts, it signposts a better future for Like, are you, are you hearing me? Yes, can I, can I respond now? Yes, yes, sir, please, go, go ahead. ahead. Thank you very much. You know, technology, there's a bit of delay back and forth. Okay, okay. Mm. All right, so um, it's signpost uh, the great possibilities that lie ahead of our sports development. On the one hand, it's imposed the fact that Nigeria has talents, sporting talents. And it marks uh, a, a cusp in the development of our sports and the trajectory of our performances at the highest level. That this country has a crop of athletes, young talents, especially our youth. We've, if properly managed, if properly supported, if put on a template of a program that works, can compete with the very best in this country. But also, it also tells us clearly that talent hunting at the grassroots, nurturing them early enough, and then giving them the opportunity to compete. The government must sponsor them to qualifying series, to championships, to competitions, give them all these opportunities. It prepares them and hones their skill for the tough competitions ahead. For my experience, is the Commonwealth. I can see them in two years' time, three years' time, getting the gold for this country. But it also behoves on us as a country to make sure that these young ones from the Commonwealth are not let go. We manage them with the federations, 
We put them on a pen template. We get grants for them to support them. That would be very critical. Keeping uh, uh, our quartet for the 4 by 100 relating yes. is key. Look at what they did. First time we're getting gold in that category. This same team went to Oregon and broke and set a record. They came to Commonwealth and broke the, co the record they set at Oregon. You, you could just see the raw terrain, so we must keep them. And also for the men, we hope to get better. What they got there at Commonwealth, the last time we got such a podium performance was 27 years ago. What the girls did was 30 years ago. So you see, when you look at the statistics, beyond the gold medals, beyond the silver medals, beyond the bronze medals, if, if you look at the statistics of our performance, so many records broken, new records set, it's massive. And as a ministry and as a government, we will settle down. We're going to, we're going to mine this data. We're going to sit with these athletes through the Federation. We're going to see what program they can put them on. We're going to see what support we can give them. And so I think that will be critical. Honorable Minister, uh, let's talk about the Adopt an Athlete um, program. initiative that you came up, that you instituted. What impact did this uh, Adopt an Athlete policy have on these games? And what kind of reward can we expect from it going forward? Thank you very much, uh, Jide. I, I think that what, what is important is that before we, before we came up with the ADOPT initiative, which we launched December 2019 in Lagos at the Civic Center, my team did a slight review talking with some athletes and also Federation president. We wanted to find out very clearly what were the things that were militating against excellent performances by our athletes. Why are we not getting the optimum results? And three things came out. Most of them were struggling because they didn't have grants. They didn't enjoy scholarships. Their only means of livelihood was through their sports. And in a country where sports was not a business, there's no branding, and et cetera, they couldn't make enough income to survive. So they spent so much time trying to earn a living rather than spend time on the track or also practicing. So we found out that giving them financial support directly will make a difference. We looked at their profiles. Most of them had compelling profiles. They had won medals at the Commonwealth, at various world championships. So they were good brands, they were marketable. And we went forward, we said, we need to leverage private sector. Government, government funding was no longer possible. So when you have home-based athletes collecting being adopted and getting $10,000. And we delivered for 38 of our athletes. We got support from Access Bank, Fidelity Bank, UBA, Zenit Bank. It made a difference for them. And I think that when you look at <clears throat> the results we have now, you cannot really take that out as one of the contributing factors to their success. Because when an athlete does not have to really worry about how to fund the equipment, okay. how to pay for health insurance, yeah, yeah. how to pay his or our coaches, then the problem is, uh, is half solved. Honorable Mr. Sir, on the final note, sustain this. The, and get better the, cooperation from the, the uh, Commonwealth Games corporate, uh, organization. It will help. Mm -hmm. I said, finally, the Commonwealth Games, we had uh, uh, this dominance by uh, female athletes. What is going to be the incentive moving forward to make sure we encourage parents, encourage um,
these um, athletes to come out more. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I'm okay, talking I'm about the Toby Amushas of this world. The dominance of female athletes. How to tap them young. Uh, uh, what is what, what's being See, done man. to encourage parents to allow their female wards to uh, take part in sports? Because Amusa was talking about how her dad uh, got very angry with her for, for getting involved with, in sports. Well, uh, Jide, you know, um, the truth be told, when you look at uh, basically um, our medals, the contribution of the female athlete is massive. And we hope that we can use these female athletes as mentors that will help to get more female people involved. But also, I, I think for us, both the male and female athletes are important. I haven't seen the level of success achieved at the Commonwealth. I haven't seen the efforts by government and private uh, organizations in this respect. I think a return to improving our collegiate sports, inter-school sports, National Principals Cup, will go a long way to, to, you know, for, to help parents see sports as a career path. We've approved, Honorable under Minister. this president, we have approved, the president has approved the first sports university in Nigeria. Mm, in various mm. colleges, we see that sports is a discipline. Okay. That's we have sports there. medicine. We have digital sports. Honorable we have e-sports, et cetera. Thank you very much. And we're looking forward. But I think the icing on the cake, on the cake. Okay. Mm. will be the approval of the national sports industry policy. Sports okay. has already been reclassified as, as a business away from recreation. All right, all right. This policy is supposed to deliver, deliver. a working plan between the private sector and the federal government. Mr. Sunday Dari, thank you. So the thank funds you. that thank we you. lack so much Thank you for your contribution. Come into thank you. Control. Congratulations. BKO, GKB. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Minister. Uh, thank you. Thank you for raising our screen. For giving us our best Commonwealth Games Congratulations. ever. Congratulations. In my God lifetime. bless you. I'm happy. You've I made me true. proud. I'm happy. SD Baba. SD. You've made me proud <laughs> as your friend of as your friend of One more of than our 30 own. years. You've made All me right. proud. Thank you. Yes. Congratulations.